Chris Hodgins pulls out wide, up alongside Alum, but Kurt Luby goes even wider. He's going through on the inside, Kurt Luby number 56, but here are the leaders. And Gravid is having a look. Watch the rev counter through the steering wheel as Rob Gravit changes gear. Now. And Kurt Luby is climbing all over Chris Hodgetts for third place in the two-litre class. Look at it. Up to Abby come the leaders. Andy Rouse is getting no peace at all from Rob Gravit. In car with Gravit. Coming up to bridge. He's going through on the inside. He's through. They're going through absolutely together. They're touching. Andy Rouse goes on the grass. He pushes Rob Gravit wide. Gravit himself goes over the curb. And Andy Rouse keeps the lead, shakes his fist at Rob Gravit. And some of the trim is torn off the Ford Sierra Cosworth. First and second, no change. Rouse still leads, but he's really under pressure. And Tim Harvey is still there, right behind them. Cops corner, Rouse, Gravit, Harvey. Over the line go the two litres, Cleland leading, Alum in second place, Luby third now ahead of Chris Hodgetts, he's got through, Cops corner, Cleland, Alum, Luby going for second, Kurt Luby going through, and he's through, up to second place in the class, down to third goes Jeff Alum, over the curb goes Jeff Alum. Oh, in car with Rob Gravit, now he's coming down to Stowe, is he going to try again? He's been through momentarily, passing Andy Rouse, but it didn't last for long. 140 miles an hour, 600 horsepower. Down to club corner. Now up to Abbey. Rouse leading, Gravit in second place to Bridge again. On the left is Gravit, on the right is Andy Rouse. They are absolutely together. Is, is Gravit going to try again? We're with him, he's coming up to Woodcote. Andy Rouse is on the left, he's disappearing. Rob Gravit goes through and takes the lead. Rob Gravit leads here at Silverstone. And Andy Rouse is down to second place. And Lawrence Bristow goes past Sean Walker, past Silverstone's magnificent press centre, and Graham Good passes Sean Walker to fifth. So Walker's lost two places in just a few hundred yards. The two litres at Bridge, it's still anybody's race in the class. Cleland leads it, Luby's second, Alum is third, Chris Hodgetts is fourth. Now, what a great drive by ex-cart champion Kurt Luby. He is setting about class leader John Cleland. So it's front-wheel drive Vauxhall versus rear-wheel drive BMW. Down to Cops. Cleland, Luby. First and second in the two-litre class. Alum is third. Club corner and Rob Gravit is pulling clear of touring car superstar Andy Rouse. It's a great day for the track star team and their Mount Tune engine wizards and their Yokohama tyres. Now, Andy Rouse is on Pirelli, Tim Harvey is on Dunlop, so it is a tyre battle too. And here they come, Gravit, Rouse, Harvey. Bridge corner of the lap. Rouse still in second place and in car with John Cleland leading the two litres only just though because Kurt Luby is right behind him and now he's not Kurt Luby goes through into the lead and with a 150 kilogram weight penalty for rear wheel drive Luby leads can John Cleland stay ahead of Jeff Allen well now we are with John Cleland, that's Luby ahead, round the very fast left-hander at Abbey. And John Cleland will be making a maximum effort now to get the lead back in the class from Kurt Luby as they go up to bridge. On go Luby's brake lights, he's lost it, he's lost it. But he retains it, incredible. He holds the lead, but Jeff Allen goes through, passes John Cleland, Allen up to second place in the class. Oh, down to Cops. Another lap completed, over the line they go. And here they come at Cops. Luby in the BMW leading the two litres. Alum up into second. Clellum down to third. Hodgetts is fourth. Godfrey Hall is in fifth position. 
And now we're back again with John Cleland on the way to Maggots. Alum and Luby ahead. BMW leads. BMW second. Vauxhall in third position. There they go. Fourth and fifth. Chris Hodgins in the Vauxhall. There he is. Godfrey Hall on the right. Fifth in the BMW. At the end of the lap, Rob Kravit is still leading overall, but here is the real battle. The two litres, Luby, Alum, Cleland. Alum ahead, 300 horsepower through the front wheels of Cleland's Cavalier is a lot of horsepower. Going into Clark Corner. Luby in the front. Alum and Cleland absolutely together. Luby runs wide over the curving. Cleland is fighting back. Hodgetts is still fourth. Hall is still there in fifth place. Up to Bridge. The left and then the right. Here's the left. Cleland's having a look behind Jeff Allen. Dodges over to the right. Absolutely together they go. First, second, third. Left, right, out of it. Absolutely nothing in it in the two-litre class. One of the best battles of the year. We're with John Cleland again. He's on Jeff Allen's boot lid. And this could be it. Coming down to Cops. And it is it. John Cleland goes through into second place in the two-litre class ahead of Jeff Allen. In car with Cleland. Thanks, Jeff. But championship leader Frank Sittner is in trouble. He's got a development engine in the BMW. And it looks as though it's not there yet. In fact, it's foot power for Frank. And Frank Sittner was leading the British Championship. Oh, well, I suppose you can't win them all. Frank, Frank, did you ask you what the problem was? The engine. What was the matter? It didn't work. Thanks, Frank. And Frank Sidner strides off into the sunset, away from his broken BMW, to have a word with his pro-drive team boss, Dave Richards. Well, no, Foxall was slow as dogs after three laps. Yeah, I thought so, yeah. Slow as dogs, Frank? Well, Kurt Luby's still got one right behind him. 